board. I said I'm bored. I heard you the first time. There's nothing to do here. I'm smitten with ennui. There's always something to do if you look hard enough. It feels like this has been going on for weeks. It has. What are you doing? I'm writing a novel. Since what? Since practically the whole time. What's it about? Shh. What's it about? If you must know, it's about eight people stuck in a share house together for a very long time. Oh. Sounds a bit dull. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I really can't tell. Origami. Origami? The Japanese art of paper folding. I don't think it's meant to be done with toilet paper. What are you? The origami police? No, no, no. You don't mind me. You go right ahead. All yours, mate. Go for your life. Just go over there. Somewhere. So... Do you believe in God? What? No, man. Throwing me off my game. Really? Just like that? You've already decided? Yeah, I've already decided. Well, that's unreasonable. How is it unreasonable? The way I see it, human beings are finite. We have limited knowledge of the universe. We haven't been everywhere or seen everything. So he, or she, could be out there, somewhere. Somewhere we haven't been or seen yet. I suppose. And if, for instance, he or she is invisible, then how can we possibly know for sure that he or she is not right with us now? Sitting in that chair right next to you. I doubt it. But that's, that's the thing. You have to doubt it. Nothing is certain. Well, you could also argue that if God wanted to be found, he would just show himself, or herself. Either he chooses not to be found, or he's not there to be found at all. Maybe. But you can't be sure. I suppose not. Game, set, and match. Best out of 17? Nothing else to do. Where do you go? You know where I go. But surely sometimes you go out somewhere else, out of curiosity? We're not really allowed to go anywhere else. Shortest route in, shortest route out. It's not fair. We don't get to go anywhere. It's to keep you safe. I'd like to think I could keep myself safe. Powers that be think you can't, so you have to stay in. You could ruin it for everyone. I hardly have the power to do that. You're more powerful than you think you are. You know, one false move and you could set off a whole chain of reactions. The butterfly effect. How do you know you aren't the butterfly? Well, you see, I could be. I'm the variable. I'm the one that comes and goes. And we all stay behind. Precisely. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get going. You're off again? Yeah, I am. 
I worry about you. You worry about a lot of things. You, you matter to me. You matter to me too. We can't. I have to get going. But why is she the only one allowed to go out? I suppose she's special. But why can't we do it? We don't have the authority. And would you really want to go out there where there's fire and pestilence and disease? Aren't pestilence and disease the same thing? Whatever's out there, you don't want to see it. But aren't you curious? Don't you wonder what's going on out there? Nope. I'm happy here. That, I don't understand. Are you alright? I'm a free person. It's a free country. I should be able to do as I please. It's false imprisonment. That's what this is. Whatever you say. Maybe this whole thing's an illusion and I'm dreaming it. Wouldn't that be something? Looking for this? Read my mind. I knew there was one left. Don't tell the others. Don't worry, they'll smell it soon enough. What'd you miss? I miss the gym. I miss the football. Playing or watching? Both. I miss concerts too. Yeah, when she meant to go to... Iron Maiden, Lenny Kravitz, Robbie Williams, and Tim Minchin. It was a good year for music. Or would have been. It sucks. Yeah, there's been a lot of sucky things going on. What do you miss? The shoes. The shoes? Shopping. For shoes. I can do everything else online, but not shoes. I've got these weird, narrow heels, wide in the middle, pointy toes. It's a non-center foot, okay? So I can't just buy a pair of shoes without physically trying them on. Right. A good pair of shoes with a little pizzazz, a little bow, a cute strap, little glitz. I'm in heaven. But all I've got is these miserable things. They're practical. And that's all that could be said for them. They're my stay-at-home shoes. But you've got others. Do I have others? Family dinner shoes, pop down to the shop shoes, look at me shoes, I'm asking for it shoes. I've got the whole lot. You should just wear them all anyway. You reckon? Who's gonna care? Hmm. I might just do that. We've lost a lot of things, but let's face it, you've still got your shoes. I've still got my shoes. How many more? Ten. No way. Yes way, keep up. Uh, you think you're better than me? Oh yes, I am better than you. Why do we even have to do this? It's a self-protective measure against laziness. Uh, laziness? Slacker. Laziness seems a good option right now. After all, we can't go anywhere, do anything. What do you mean? You can go wherever you like, up here. It's all about the mind. That's how you stay in control, stay sane. Do you ever worry that you're going mad? Like what, mad mad? Like crazy mad, like not in your right mind, kind of mad. I wouldn't say I worry about it. I've often had moments where I thought that was a weird thought I didn't need. But on the whole, not mad and certainly not worried about it. So you think that most of the time you're sane, except for the occasional streak of madness? That's one way of putting it. And this is how most people think. 
Why? Don't you? I can't help wondering, but what if we're all in this madhouse together, thinking we're sane, when in fact we're all mad? It's unlikely. And how so? Well, where's the evidence? You have to admit that things have gone a little haywire. Well, yes. Exactly. So what if this upside downness has started to affect us and we haven't noticed yet? You know the story about the frog in the boiling water? If you keep increasing the temperature, the frog won't jump out of the pan because it doesn't realise it's reached boiling point. So? So? We've been cooped up in here for God knows how long. Maybe we all think we're sane, but in fact, we're all mad. I think we can safely assume that we're not as the same as we were before. It doesn't mean we're mad. So it's not a foregone conclusion. Maybe we're just changing, like butterflies emerging from the chrysalis. So you're saying we could leave feeling different, but not mad? It could be the beginning of something beautiful. It's like another world out here, beyond the door. You can't imagine. It's quiet, deadly quiet, the moment you step out. Eerie. And off I go to do what's required of me. Each day, a risk. Each day, knowing there's a chance I'll fall ill. Knowing I might take it home with me. We have to pivot, they keep saying. Change direction. But a pivot is the point on which something turns. Like the heel you spin on when you turn your back on your lover. And then you realize it's worse than that. That point, that pivot, it's me. We are all turning, 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 like lonely spinning tops, trying to beat this thing, trying to win, trying to survive. Where is she? Don't worry, she'll come. She always does. You're back! I'm back. How was it? Fine. Fine. It wasn't fine, was it? Have you seen the news today, though? No. We've only had Netflix 18 hours a day. The tides are turning. They're gonna start letting everyone out soon. Days. Hours, even, if we're lucky. <gasps> Guys, you hear that? They're gonna let everybody out. What? No way! It's about time. Just like that, one day we're in, the next we're out. Seems like it. What do we do now? Await their instructions. A happy dance, you mean? <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.